Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you a shortcut recipe of yummy chicken curry. It's a very simple process but no compromise with taste. It's super tasty and delicious. So guys, let's see the recipe. I have taken 18 to 20 garlic cloves, uh, one and a half inches of ginger and two medium sized tomatoes. We need to grind them all together and make a smooth paste. But you may chop them finely instead. And here is our chicken. There is uh, 500 grams of chicken and I washed it very properly and drained the water nicely. So guys, let's go for the main process. So I have put a pan on gas, gas stove and adding some cooking oil. You may add any kind of cooking oil and you may change the quantity according to uh, your wish. And now the oil is heated well and now i'm adding some whole spices i have taken four to five cloves four to five uh, black peppers three green cardamoms and about one inch of uh, cinnamon and now i'm going to add some caraway seeds caraway means shajira in hindi i'm taking half teaspoon of caraway seeds but if you're taking uh, white cumin seeds you have to take about uh, one teaspoon full after all the whole spices are crackled well we need to add some onion so I'm taking about five to six medium sized onions uh, finely sliced but you may chop them very finely it's your choice and now we need to fry them after the color has started to be brown we need to add that paste uh, that grinded paste of tomatoes uh, garlic and ginger so I'm adding it full after adding the paste, I'm going to add some water washing the mixer grinder jar to avoid wastage of spices. I'm mixing all the things a little and after that we need to add some salt and spices powder. So at first I'm adding some salt according to taste, 1 teaspoon full of salt, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of uh, coriander powder, it's half of twice and uh, red chili powder according to taste. You may add some ready-made chicken masala from market about 1 teaspoon full but I'm not adding it and I'm going to add garam masala at the end of this recipe. After mixing well, we need to wait for some time until the water we added is dried up and after the water is dried up, we need to add the washed chicken. I added it as you can see. After mixing well, we need to cover and cook for some time for about uh, 10 to 12 minutes. In between, we need to uncover the pan and stir it nicely to avoid uh, burn from the bottom. In the meantime, some water will be released from the chicken and it will be dried up. So, we need to continue the process of uncovering and stirring and covering again. The heat should be on medium or medium to low and when the water is dried up, the spices are sticking to the bottom. Now, it's high time to add water for gravy. So add water quantity according to your wish, how thin or how thick you want your gravy to be. So I'm also adding water according to my choice. I'm not going to make it very thin. So I'm adding about uh, two and a half cups of water. Uh, now mixing everything well. And after mixing, we need to cover and cook again for about 10 minutes. Now the heat should be medium or medium to high and the same process of uncovering and stirring it well and covering again. After about 10 to 12 minutes, our curry is almost ready. At the end of this recipe, we need to add some fresh coriander leaves finely chopped and some garam masala. I am going to add about uh, 1 teaspoon of garam masala. After mixing well, we need to check the salt. If salt is needed, add according to your taste. I also tested salt and uh, I think some more salt is needed, so I am adding some more. After mixing well, our chicken curry is ready. Now we need to turn the heat off and cover the pan and leave it for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we are going to serve the curry. After 10 minutes, guys, it's looking so tempting. The oil is over the curry and the gravy is thicker than before. So let's serve the curry. Guys, the process is so simple, but the taste is so delicious. So delicious curry with boiled rice or roti or chapati. So try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. 
hit the like button guys if you really like the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye take care